everyone, it's Fiona here again from Inspired Living. I hope you're all having a good week. I thought I would take some time to share a few of the Mac goodies which I recently bought. Um, we were lucky enough to um, have Mac South Africa launch their online store, which is a first for South Africa, of course. So yes, it, it's been something great to, to witness. And um, we recently went along to a launch which Mac actually hosted um, outlining their autumn winter um, product range. And at the same event, they spoke to us about the, the new online store. Now, as we all know, online shopping is obviously something which is, is definitely taking off in South Africa. And Mac being a great product and a product that I really enjoy using, uh, I definitely think there's a, a great benefit having them um, launch their online store. And um, yeah, so I thought I would share a few of the goodies that I bought. The, the great thing about having the online store courses, if you do know what you need, um, it's easy enough just to go online and you can do it even from your mobile phone or I'll show you um, the, using your um, tablet or iPad and anywhere basically in the country. So if you know, you know that you're running out of lipstick and um, you know, if you need it by the weekend, then it's definitely they guarantee a three to eight day um, maximum delivery time. And I must say, I was very impressed with um, the timing and delivery and my products got to me, no problem. Everything was correct. So yes, very efficient, great service and very impressed. So great first impressions. <laughs> anyway, so going, getting onto the products now, I uh, obviously before I bought I kind of had some idea of what I was looking for. Um, as I mentioned um, in my previous October favorites video, I do tend to research products before I buy them, even you know, if I've heard about them or seen them in a magazine or whatever online, I do like to know that it is actually a product that works. And especially um, you know, when you're buying more expensive expensive products, especially makeup products, it's, it's better to, to actually know what you're buying before you buy it. And you know, lots of lots of goodies out there. So yes, I did have a look first before I bought and obviously asked certain people, um, you know, what their thoughts are or were on, on certain products as well. So I'm going to start off with a few, well two, I didn't buy that many products. I mean, at the end of the day, they, they do cost quite a bit. So um, yeah, the first product which I had read about and was told that is definitely something that you need to have in your makeup bag is the MAC, um, it's the Prep and Prime Lip Primer. The um, MAC Prep and Prime Lip Primer is, is definitely something that I've been thinking about buying or thinking about buying a lip primer for a while now and it is one that has been recommended and as I say, I, I do research things. so. Um, that's what it looks like. It's just, um, you know, white. It actually looks like a lip balm or, or lip ice. Um, and of course, all you would do is apply that directly onto your lips. And what I do is apply it, leave it on for a bit before I actually apply my lipstick because I just find then it gives it a chance to set on your lips and you can feel, you know, if it dries a little bit, then maybe add a little bit more before you so actually apply So this definitely does help. I wouldn't say that my lipstick stays on the whole day, but I do tend to build my lipstick as well and use lipsticks which are fairly creamy and moisturizing. So I find those don't tend to sort of stay as well as your matte lipsticks do. But I definitely have noticed that this has improved the wear and, and the length of wear of my lipstick. So it's definitely a product I'm dying to see how long it's going to last. Hope that it will last quite long because it's not a cheap product. So yes, that's one of the things that I bought. And then keeping with um, the priming products, I bought the, let me have a look there, little tab, I mean that's how, how small it is. It's the MAC Prep and Prime um, Translucent Finishing Powder. Now, the one thing I must warn you about with this powder, which I did sort of read or see on the reviews on, on YouTube, was that it is exceptionally messy. I don't know if I don't want to tilt it up too much, but that's what it looks like inside. And it's got little holes where the powder actually comes through. But the only problem is if you do tend to take it anywhere with you, um, it doesn't stay in the pot. It actually comes out of the holes and then you end up with a whole lot of powder like I've got there. So yes, not the best 
traveling products, but from a finish point of view, it is definitely a great finish. It, it is quite drying, as somebody did say to me, it does kind of zap all the oil off your face. So if you have got very dry skin, I don't know if that's necessarily the product for you, but it does give you a flawless finish. So basically once you put your um, foundation and conceal and everything on, I, I then put that in the areas where I tend to become quite greasy, which is obviously along my T, my chin and above on my um, above my lips. So yes, that's definitely something which I think, especially going out during the day in summer in South Africa, you need to have a finishing powder. And this is one that I'm enjoying. I would like to try, they, they have got a compact one as well, which in the reviews I heard was quite um, or oh, it's it actually sat in your pores. Now, I haven't tried it, so I think what I actually need to do is go into one of the MAC stores and actually have a look at it and try it on my skin and see what it looks like. Because so I really would like to have a compact for to carry on my makeup bag, and I don't think that's going to be one that I'm going to be carrying around with me anyway. So yes, that is the, the two Prep and Prime products that I bought, and I am enjoying them so far. So that's all good. And then I bought two... Um, lip products. I bought a um, a lip pencil, a MAC. It's the Cream Sheen liner, and the color is Bure. You can have a look over there. It's the wind up. And you can see over there. It's, it is a. I can see if you never know what these water focus on these things is not the greatest, but it is a sort of a dirty dusky pink. And what I was looking for. For some is I've obviously got your more nude colors and then I have bought the, the deep coral which is the Vegas vault I wanted something a bit softer and prettier um, you know for those occasions where you perhaps going to a wedding or you want something which is not as bright and and punchy so I haven't tried it yet so this is going to be a first um, so that's as I say I've now done the the prep and prime so now I'm going to put the liner on which Hopefully I don't pull too many strange faces. I just find then it obviously helps the lipstick adhere and then when the lipstick does perhaps wear off, you do have a bit of a liner because the liner obviously has a drier texture so it does tend to sit the better on your lips. I bought is a MAC satin finish um, lipstick and the color of this is Brave. Let's see there, it's a also a, a pink. It's a very pretty um, dusky pink. Again, it is the first time I'm using it. I think I would probably put a bit of, it is quite dry on my lips, so I do prefer for every day a slightly um, more moisturizing finish on my lips so I would probably put a bit of, of lip gloss over that but for for this video obviously I'm only using the MAC products and my MAC lip gloss which lip gloss which I had has disappeared so I need to actually get a new one but yes I'm loving the color and I say that's brave it's very pretty and pink and you can see my nails I've got um, one of my favorite SE nail polish is called Fond de la Gondola which is a beautifully dusky mauve um, and yeah, very pretty and as I say, goes very well with, with the lipstick. So that would be a great color to wear out um, if you were going to a wedding or something like that. There we go, I thought I'd zoom in and you can have a look at what the lipstick looks like. So yes, very pretty color. I am liking it. Um, as I say, I probably would put a bit of gloss over the top, but you know, that's obviously personal choice. It depends on what type of finish you like. I probably do prefer a slightly more moisturizing finish on my lips. And the last product which I'm going to share with you, which I bought, is the is a MAC blush. Now I do have um, quite a few pinky colors and um, more sort of brownish blush, but I actually wanted to get something which was, again, more coral for summer. And this was one that when I looked around and, and read a lot of the reviews and obviously asking people what, what blushes they liked, this was one that came up a lot. And it's the MAC... Um, the sheer tone blush and the color is peaches you can see it's lovely coral color it doesn't come up it's not quite as um when well, it does look quite bright in the compact but 
I'll just give you a little bit of an idea. I've got some on already, but I'll just touch it up a bit. Um, it's just a very pretty heavy and definitely be something that I will enjoy for summer. It was actually quite interesting um, going to another event and the the makeup artist actually used a very similar color blush on me and it's I've always been quite scared of going away from pink and the more brown tones and quite interesting enough it actually does work with my skin tone. So yes, I'm, I'm really loving the products that I bought from the MAC online store and it's definitely a service that I'll be using again so if you want to pop over and check it out it's, um, I'll just show you again on here, but I mean, it's quite easy to navigate and you can have a look there. The, um, you can have a look, can you see over there, they've got the different tabs and they have all the products. So I mean, basically you go along and have a look. So depending on what you're looking for, if you're looking for a lipstick or whatever, um, you search, you can either search by shade or finish and they've got all the colors there, obviously, if they don't have it in stock they will actually let you know on the website and um, the website is maccosmetics.co.za I will put the um, website address on the bottom of the um, video as well so you can pop over and have a look thanks so much I hope you enjoyed that and we'll be back soon with um, a few more makeup tutorials and of course at the end of the month I will do my November favorites I've got quite a few things which I'm enjoying already so yeah I'm looking forward to sharing those with you and please if you have any comments or any things you'd like to know or find out about please leave the comments um, below the video and I'll get back to you and hopefully be able to help you as much as I can so please visit my website which is www.inspiredliving.co.za and yeah we'll see you again soon thanks so much